are you? I am here. Is there anybody out there with me? Hey, how are you? I'm so happy that you're here with me. I am going to be fussy cutting this cute little paper right here. I counted on my, um, what is it called? <laughs> I measured, I measured, I measured on my phone, uh, the dresser of the file cabinet that I was working on earlier. It is 34 wide. Now this is the actual door. The door is 34 wide by uh, 14 tall. So that means I need quite a bit of this. So uh, the, let me show you. The roll comes like this. Okay, it is from Waller uh, Waller City Wallpaper Products. Instructions are inside. It's super cute. And let's open this up. And I already did a couple of spots. And now that I have the drawer, hello, hello, who are you? Talk to me. Tell me what you're up to today other than uh, dinner and all that kind of loveliness that we do with our families during the holidays, right? Um, I am uh, trying to move my craft room, so I thought I'd work on something that was fun. So here is the line, what I am looking at, okay? So when I look at this, I am from here to here, and then the uh, print recycle recycles, re redoes itself. So I need to cut out as many of these lovely things as I have. Hey, Pamela, Happy New Year. How are you? Merry Christmas. I'm so glad you're here with me. Love this vinyl. I do too. And it's supposed to be repositionable. I'll probably put some glue on it, you know, here and there just to kind of make sure it stays stuck. Um, but that is what we're going to play with. And it was really easy to cut, maybe because it's vinyl. I don't know, but it was really easy to do. So, um... Hey, Annie, how are you? Hey, hey, hey. I was just talking to Annie earlier. So I'm going to run this through, cut it, uh, and cut as many little pieces as I can. Because if I have five, and I do have two rolls, okay? Uh, was If I have five drawers, and you saw how horribly I spray paint. <laughs> so I have quite a bit of spots to cover. So I'm just going to cut like crazy and see how many of these I come up with. And I am also doing the ones that kind of come off to the edge because maybe I can put them on the drawer on the edge, you know, as from thinking. Uh, and you saw that I did the pink and then I went back and did gold because, uh, I don't know, it looked too flat for me without uh, the edge of the gold. So here we go. Let's uh, take a look and see what we have going on. Let me bring this down. And if I remember correctly, I am supposed to... Oh man, my mouse is acting up. You know, I uh, need a whole nother, a whole nother uh, laptop. I know <clears throat> it is not going to the right spot, so we will have to go and do the mouse without right here, so I can look at you guys and see um, who's talking to me. Here, why is it not coming up? There we go. All right, so here we go. This part is here, okay. Uh, new timeout lengths. Do we have timeout lengths? You can uh, now put people in timeout for different lengths, ranging from 10 seconds to 24 hours. Oh, wow, that's like what, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Facebook, uh, whatever that is, when they, they cut you out. They can cut you out on YouTube. Interesting. Okay, so I'm using my itty bitty little scissors because I like scissors when I am uh, cutting, fussy cutting. Um, and let me see, I think I have to turn you upside down. Uh, turn this, this so that I'm not upside down. Okay, and so what's going on, Pamela? What are you up to? How's the family? How's your sweet sister in California? Is everybody doing well? Uh, yes, please tell me how is everybody doing? Here is the one print thing that I did. Okay. And you can see I barely cut around the, the, uh, and I did have like a little piece of this also. So I'm going to keep cutting that because that might be, I might need that to cover up some boo-boos that, I mean, you can see that those boo-boos were bad. 
Uh, the cuts look perfect. Yeah, no, you know that this pan, that's not happening here. But, okay, here we go. So I know now that I need these little pieces. And when I did it before, I didn't think I needed that. So I am just, and see with this uh, vinyl, you kind of just go like you do. You don't have to, I don't know what to call it. It's very easy. It's slick. So I really liked the black on this background because guess what? It reminds me of, of Black Grace. I love that print. And uh, of course it's discontinued somewhere. So I wanted to use black. I even considered maybe um, cutting, uh, cutting, painting the whole thing black, but I thought that would make it look too heavy. And especially next to my uh, new little, uh, whatever it's called. Black is my longtime favorite. I know. I, and you know what? I bet I like it because I can't have it. I have those issues. I do. I have those issues. If, um, yeah, it's, it's like, why, why do you not have it anymore? Okay. So I have a little container, one of those refrigerator bins that everybody's using to empty out stuff. And I'm going to kind of throw those things in here that are small because I don't want to lose anything. Uh, okay. And what I plan to do is tomorrow, the 31st, I want to go and, what do you think? Mod Podge this to the metal painted container, uh, vinyl thing. Like, what do you think? Do we have to use, should I just do this? Or, look, it's pretty sticky. You see that? Or do I put a little, uh, what is our favorite? Hey, Ron CS, sweetheart, how are you? Uh, do you think we should do a little art glitter glue right behind it and then put it down? Um, I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of torn about that. Should I or should I not? Okay. Here's the big piece. When you have a big piece to cut, oh my God, is that not gorgeous? Oh, maybe I should do a whole wall, like the one that's on the side, just the whole thing. Oh my God, this is, let's just say it. You know what I'm going to say? Stupid gorgeous. Yes, I know. Look, I have a little boo-boo there. It's cut. Um, oh, maybe you can't see it. Anyway, okay. So I'm just kind of doing a rough cut around here. And I am going to go around this because it's hard to, to control such a big piece of paper. And you see what I'm saying? You kind of just run uh, these little scissors, just kind of run and press, and it kind of just cuts itself. Uh, and I'm liking that it's not leaving like the, you know how the paper goes up? Uh, you want me to what? Hot glue it? What is, what is Annie saying? Old Mod Podge days. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Should I Mod Podge the back of it? Uh, oh, Pam, you don't know how, Pamela, you don't know how much I need this. You know what's going on in my world. And I uh, really uh, feel guilty for doing this, but I just cannot. I, I cannot. I had to. Uh, come have a little happy moment because I could not anymore survive another day without trying to play in my room. Okay, so I'm trying to look at this. I'm trying to see where I'm going to start. And I don't know. I'm thinking it could be maybe about eight millimeters, you know, around the edge. What you guys have for dinner? My little hubby got a new toy, and so he made his ribs for dinner. Um, yes, we, we, we eat red meat here. I hope everybody else does also. I don't know. I saw some, a movie about fishermen, and I went fisher fishing industry, and I thought, wow, that's a hard job. We should even pay more for fish. I mean, it's not easy either with the cows. Okay, so here is my little uh, piece, and I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna test it out to see how how sticky it is. 
that feels. Oh my God, do you have leftover tamales? Oh, from like the tamale company, like the original one. That feels pretty tight. Huh. Uh, we had, uh, yeah, he made us ribs and um, what else did he make? Chicken, chicken legs. Is that what we call them? Chicken legs? Okay, and so now we moved in the uh, cabinet into the house, into the craft room, and I, um, when it was being moved, it pro we probably should have waited a little bit longer so that the paint would dry uh, more, but uh, so I got some smudges, quite a bit of them. It's all good. It just is another accident so that you can uh, try to cover it up. That's all it is, a happy accident so that you can put more stuff on it. And so I you, uh, I can't find my buff and rub, rub and buff uh, little ones. So I was singing to St. Anthony to help me find it, but I think he's occupado. I, I haven't seen it yet, but I was thinking, what do I already have? And I have this, um, let me see now. It is not, it's a dauber from a Tim Holtz gold and uh it says acrylic paint so on my little things i that were smudged on my file cabinet i used this gold uh dauber on there to uh paint, cover it up you know cover up the boo-boos and it looks fine i'm not going to worry too much that file cabinet is extremely old and I am hoping to make it look better with this beautiful paper right here. And so I was not going to worry. I'm, you know, it looks now like it's gold leaf. Does that make sense? So I'm not mad about those boo-boos on there at all. And, uh, and I did trim, go around with, uh, I felt pretty artistic, uh, around with the, um, this is pretty strong. I, I, I'm testing it out, but this feels pretty strong. Um, I felt pretty artistic while I was, you know, I felt like a, a, a gangster spraying up a bridge with my gangster logo <laughs> of pink and gold. <laughs> I grew up in the city, so you guys know. If you know, you know. You, you, you have to go. I've never done that before in my life, but I have seen lots of, uh, what is it, little gangster uh, symbols or whatever. And I was like spray painting my file cabinet and I was thinking, oh, a little pink and gold mix here. Maybe I'll make myself a little, I don't know, a little gangster crafter motto logo thing. Okay, this is really hard to see because this dark red kind of ends into this red. So I'm just kind of guessing and cutting into the little uh, pieces. A tagger, exactly. I know. That's exactly so. I think I should become a new tagger and run around and put Anna Griffin flowers all over the city. <laughs> that would be his circle. It would be prettier. It would be prettier. We're going to be in town next month, next month, like in a couple of weeks. Nick's uh, marathon in Houston. Uh, and we are going to be in Houston. I should take a bunch of Anna Griffin flowers and tag the whole city. It's, it's the Houston Marathon put on by um, Chevron. Chevron? I think so. I think it's Chevron. It's going to be fun. We're going to stay over in Houston, somewhere in some downtown swanky hotel, and go do the marathon fun stuff the, the night before. Um, it should be really fun. You might get arrested for beautifying the city without going to like what the city, the city council before I beautify the city. Yes. Okay. See, there's that boo-boo. I don't know what, what in the world it, it must've gotten stuck on something, but okay. So I will say that this is super easy paper to cut and, but it is pretty like reflective and it kind of hurts my eyes looking at it. So maybe we should use sunglasses. Like I have some prescription strength sunglasses. Maybe that's what I need. I don't think you can see that it's reflective or not. But this is what I'm going to be doing. 
for the next couple of hours sitting in front of the TV, uh, hanging out with the boys. They're trying to decide what movie to do. And so I wanted to show you how many of these things do I need and find the tops and the bottoms of it. I think the flower should be like this, but don't you think I should just do, go wild and not have the right or the wrong way of it? You know, I just want to go wild with it because then I can't mess up. I have uh, really embraced releasing the imperfections of the world. I, I naturally want to be a perfectionist, uh, but I have been trying to not worry about things so much and and live a little, right? So what if it's not perfect? Live a little. That was what that movie was about. I can't remember which, what movie it was called. But Tommy Lee Jones said, or one of them said, life is what happens in between the moments, the big moments, like the big moments. And that's right. So we've got to live. And I'm not going to be sitting here and trying to make absolutely everything absolutely perfect and waste time doing that because I can't. Okay, I've decided that I don't think I need Mod Podge. This is really, really uh it doesn't look like it's reflective. I know that's why I really liked it. But it when I start moving it around, it gets pretty reflective. Look how fast this this has gone. It's really it's really gone fast. Oh, I'm sorry. I moved my my camera. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, so you you have a new TV camera and the whole thing at Yeah, I need to get set up. Um but I have my next big project is now that I can get this cabinet uh, into the craft room, then I can um, move my dies over there. Hey, I was thinking we should do a number. I think we should figure out how many um, how many die sets. Like I can't say how many dies we have, but how many die sets? do we have does anybody have a running number i think dina one time said she made a list of of her dies but like does anybody know how many do we actually have i i have no earthly idea but i thought that would be a fun game to figure out how many dies we actually have I couldn't even tell you, but I know that I I have two file cabinets, two drawers of file cabinets full, and I have to upgrade to this this new one that has five drawers, and I'm going to try to make myself not, I mean, five drawers, that's a lot of five, of cap, of dies, but I'm going to try to not go over that. Let's see. Of course... I hear there's a bunch of shoe dies coming my way. So, you know, those, oh, that might be a whole nother drawer. We might have to have a whole nother drawer of just shoe dies. Okay. So, you see, now I, I'm really liking this just going around with the scissors and doing a, a loose um, cut around it. But, um, and I don't know. If you guys can do, if you cut better with, let's see if I can cut. Yeah, I had to stop talking, right? I think what happens with me and the cutting tool is that I press too hard and I know you're not supposed to press so hard. And I kind of want to do the, pick it up off the, off the glass mat. Now I'm going to tell you, it is so easy to do this on a glass mat compared to trying to do it on the um, self healing mats. I've done that forever, and I've had glass mats before, but I never really did this on it. 
it is so much easier because you can one here when you're cutting around it. Hmm. Okay. I think I want to leave that little piece there. Maybe that's a spot that would be off of my, okay. So the cabinet was a uh, 12 this way. See, so that would be as tall as it could possibly be. I might have to cut the top or the bottom or something. Uh, tomorrow we will figure that out. I don't know what time it's going to be, but uh, if you, if you get a notification, you will be uh, notified that I'm doing a live and I will try to put it up on Facebook also. Tell me I finished my son's graduation album. Oh my God, with Handsome. I love that thing. I gave it to him for Christmas and Aunt cleaned it up. Oh, labeled my new AG dies. Oh, how fabulous. And I can think of getting off the wait list onto going for you. Uh, 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 all I can think about is getting off the wait list. Call them onto the going for the crop. Uh, the crop is at um, a store down there. It's called uh, Scrap Shack, where, where you get where you get your um, My Little Glue stuff. I don't like those little uh, sharp corners. Uh, the glue, uh, little sharp corner, little, what are these things called? This thing. Um, Scrap Shack has a crop in February. So you need to call them and let them know that you are waiting for their call. And, um, and let them know you're available whenever they are. Oh, I have one more spot here. I thought I was finished with this one. Okay, right here. And uh, did I enjoy the blade better than the scissors? I don't think so. So I'm trying to go to the crop on Wednesday, if ever so possible. I, I don't know if I uh, am working on Wednesday, but if I am, I'm gonna have to move it to another day because I wanna go on Wednesday. Because uh, uh, Anna Galvan said she was going, but then she can't stay very long because it's uh, Valentine's season. Um, look at that. That is so pretty. I really like it. Uh, so I, we thought if we could meet on Wednesday, we could at least have Wednesday, Thursday before the flower season starts for her to deliver flowers. She, she's a florist. On top of having a regular uh, job, she's uh, she does floral arrangements so okay so what do you think this is uh one and this is another one so i thought that was so this might be one i'm gonna uh pull it out so that you can see more but i thought this was one like can i do that on one drawer like this that should be plenty so uh let's see how many of these we can get out and I'm trying, I'm thinking about how many of these do you get from one roll? That would be really cool to know. It's a really big roll. Let me remind you. It, it was like 12 bucks and um, 78, I want to say inches, 78 inches going across. Look at that. Okay, so this one starts now, this print. Okay, so. There we go. And maybe this here was cut off because it was the beginning of the run, the roll. So I guess this is the same as this one. It was just cut off because it's that's where it started. Okay. And then this one is right here. Okay. So that is all the same. Lovely. So I'm getting this one and this one. And... There we go. So I'm going to continue to cut these up. I know you guys, it's like the most boring thing in the whole world to watch me uh, cut, but I'm going to keep cutting. And uh, and uh, I will see you, uh, let me see, I have to turn this around uh, tomorrow again. Uh, Pamela, what crop in, um, uh, hello, hey, hey, hey. Okay, so we're gonna keep cutting all night long. I'm gonna be cutting as many as I can. And then tomorrow I'm gonna go over to the new craft room and we're gonna stick them on 
and uh, I think maybe a little Mod Podge or, or, or glue of some sort is going to have to go on here uh, so that we can get uh, a nice stick. Um, and so I don't know what time it's going to be tomorrow. Uh, maybe three o'clock again. Uh, that's a good time for me. I get breakfast, lunch, all that stuff done. So maybe we can do this again tomorrow at three o'clock and I will put a post up. So uh, subscribe, uh, do the thumbs up for me. Um, ring the bell, I think is all those kind of things that happen. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I so appreciate everybody's condolences. I, I really, from the bottom of my broken heart, uh, appreciate it. So thank you. Thank you very much. And I will see you again tomorrow at three o'clock we're saying tomorrow at three o'clock hey it's 31st we have to craft on the very last day so that for the whole new year we have to do that again and craft all the time yes okay and i am trying to get a um us to do crops live virtual so we can see each other okay so thank you so much i'll see you again tomorrow at three o'clock uh and we're gonna put this stuff on the the file cabinet okay Thank you so much, guys. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow, 3 o'clock. Bye. Oh, I have to push <laughs> end over here. <laughs>